Students and staff from Blackwell Job Corps learned today they have a real ally in the fight to stay open. While the future of that Forest County Center is uncertain, one Wisconsin senator says she'll do what she can to help. Newswatch 12 Stephen Goen joins us live in the studio tonight with more. Stephen, good evening. Lane, good evening. Speaking face to face with Blackwell students and staff today, Senator Tammy Baldwin made it clear their voices will be a part of the conversation moving forward. At a, that roundtable discussion in Schofield, students and staff told the senator how they felt in May when first hearing their training center would close. Baldwin explained her role in changing that outcome with the bipartisan Job Corps Protection Act, saying everything was handled incorrectly from the start. It shouldn't have come as a surprise to the faculty or the students, and it shouldn't have come as a surprise to the Congress that funds these programs. While the USDA reversed its decision to close nine federally funded Job Corps centers in June, Black Bell being one of them, staff say they're not out of the woods just yet. Now we need to make sure that any policy changes are done right and with input. Blackwell's acting director told me the center is still trying to enroll more students with a capacity for 127 people. Blackwell is currently about half full. Baldwin was unable to answer today when asked if the resignation of the labor secretary would affect future outcomes.